Good morning and good day, sirs and madams and everyone. Hope all of us are always in good health. We are so glad to have this round of event and meeting you all in our webinar about Dynamics 365 Business Central and Power BI. And today I will share about Dynamics 365 Business Central dashboard and profile and its integration to Power BI, how it can optimize your business operation with data driven insight. We start with quick updates on just a few highlights or significant points about Dynamics 365 Business Central. Then we will continue with new updates in BC release 2023 with one or version number 22. Our focus is on analysis mode and pivot view. Then after that, I will share about multiple Power BI boxes embedded in BC dashboard. Dynamics 365 Business Central on Cloud. This is a modern business application. The system or apps is in the cloud. No need to install, no need to put into a server machine. Not depend only to Windows OS. We can work using different OS like Mac, Linux, Chrome OS. We only need browsers and we can work using our phone, tablet, and Chromebook. That's the highlight. BC on cloud is also commonly we call as BC SAS, SaaS. SaaS is software as a services. BC SaaS is a visionary business application and it is its ability to execute is ranked as the highest. BC is regularly and continuously updated with certain mechanism that it, that it is pushed by Microsoft directly so that we are not left behind or stay on older version. As long as we have internet, always accessible and always connected. BC also collaborates with other Dynamics apps in the form of Data First. Data First is table or multiple tables in the cloud or to be specific in Azure, where the data can be shared among apps or application. So general data is interchangeable among Dynamics 365 application or Microsoft product ecosystem. Here, if you want to check further, you can start from this link here. We, we are sharing public information about Dynamics 365 Business Central. You can also check a click guide, the preview of BC here. We can share with you later. We can give you the link after the webinar. Just get back to us and we will share you the link. We also have many YouTube videos to start with. There are a lot of videos here. This is the official playlist. Uh, please contact us after the webinar. We will share you all those links. Now, uh, once we subscribe to BC, we will have all these modules or capabilities. Everything here. This is the full modules. We start subscribing. We get all this immediately complete, covering all aspects of our business operational. We can start small, then grow because BC is very scalable. Or we can start with the size of our current operation, whether it is small or medium enterprise or big scale of operation. Now about the project or implementation. BC team in SE Global have been doing tens or even more than 100 of implementations. There are no easy implementation, but we have has a proven methodology for accelerator. Dynamics 365 Business Central is a comprehensive cloud-based business management solution to drive digital transformation journey in your organization. Accelerate methodologies, make your organization adapt faster and deliver result immediately. Now let us see BC new features analysis mode. This is the first and front screen when we open BC. 
we are discussing this front page in other occasion okay now we will focus on we will see our focus on analysis view these new features released early this year let's start with this i have some examples as you see here we can see there are many lines of sales codes order invoices and so on here we see there are new function of it picture here called analyze when we click this it is automatically changed to certain column and grouping here we can to expand and collapse like this and we can see here that this is grouped by customer number document type and number okay. then we have here button called columns and analysis filter let's start with column we can click this and we can do a pivot mode what is the difference on pivot mode in analysis you see the data is group this is the row group and uh, this is the value where the operation is sum or can be count or can be max also you see here now if we change to pivot then there will be another part here which is called column label where we can put the next dimensional analysis that we want to put, to put here. In this example, we use shipment date and shipment date month. So the purpose of this views is we can see that each customer has how many order to us and how much is the total amount of the order and when we have to ship this order. We can do a lot of combination and a lot of thing with this analysis. Let's say, for example, we do the next analysis. We will do like this. We can group by type, then we can group by, can group by customer, then we do pivot, then group by document type. So we can see here that in each customer, how many invoice we have how many order we have and how many are still on quotes let's think perhaps uh, we consider quotes is not necessary to to be calculated here we can do filter filter click on document type and uncheck on quote so quote is gone so now you can see that the data is built on invoice and order only. this is just one example on how we can uh, do with this analysis we can say we can do also uh, rename this one like customer document type two when we go back here at any time this analysis is already saved now let's see another example we have another data or purchase lines here this is the raw data you see all the list then change to analyze if you can see here notice that there are no changes if we are not make any grouping here so that's the purpose of analysis we need to make grouping here so that uh, we can see more dimensional analysis on our data let's see by putting location here then maybe the second group is document types so We also can move or change the sequence of the column like this, because I think it is more important to see the outstanding quantity and outstanding amount per lines. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Let us check the value. What is important to calculate here? line amount so when we make the calculation calculation will appear here and we can also move that closer to the group heading 
So now we have an information, uh, total invoice. We have, we will need to pay in our purchase, total order, and it is broken down by location. Okay, now let's see by what. Uh, for example, then we want to check by document type. So we know that we are selling items, but also we are selling resources. Okay, well, this is one of the new features that we see as in the new version. We can do anything like this in all the data inside Business Central. For example, customer ledger entry, vendor ledger entry, and general ledger entry, for example. This. So we have the sum per month, for example, so we can play around with whatever information that we need to, to have in this calculation. Okay, now this will works on one table only, one set of data. But normally in our operation, we will need to analyze more than that. We have more complex data to analyze altogether that has uh, many tables as the sources so in many cases this type of analysis also not sufficient for our operation and bc has a solution also for that where we can have power bi to process the data analysis with multiple data sources in new business central we can have uh, multiple boxes of Power BI, as you can see in the screen here. We can have one, two, three, four. So normally in standard BC, we can have, we only have one box, something like this, right? Now it is possible to, to modify it, to customize it. So we can have four or maybe as many as you like to uh, appear in your dashboard, like this examples. So. If we are new to Power BI, we know that uh, once we subscribe to Business Central, it is automatically we have license for Power BI as a viewer. So we can view also Power BI like this one. This is another environment of Power BI, and we can see that this is actually the source of our report. So it means that we need to design once in this Power BI, then publish it, then we can directly call it from this box, like this one. Select Power BI, then this is all the reports that are available to call. The Power BI box here is quite flexible and we can say it's quite powerful. We can expand that and we can have the view almost the same as when we open it in Power BI apps, this one. I have a few examples here. For example, we have AR, receivable, how much amount of our money which are still in our customer. So for example, here we can click this one and the pie chart is filtered. Click this one, the pie chart is filtered. Next thing that I have in my example here, is uh, this this is the list of our products and this is the customer who are uh, buying them so we want to know uh, what product is normally bought by who so this is one example we can have a more complex report like this one let's expand the report So this shows uh, what is the top selling items in our business and who are the top five customers. This is a combined and this is the group. Okay, even more complex information like this one. So in this case, we are doing we are selling cars. We have a service, service center also, and we want to, uh, what is the progress of our business. We can filter by month like this one. And you see the 
figure is moving uh, depend on the month we can see also by amount by quantity like this one okay this one example i have next example of vehicle sales kpi who is selling the most in which year and this is the salesperson we have two sales perhaps and how is their performance even we can do just a plain tables like this one and do some filtering in this uh, column for example i want to see just invoice so we can do some filters in this just invoice and things like that okay i have one more example to share with you this is another example of how we are monitoring our daily sales of beverage company so they have many outlets here this is all the outlets and they are selling uh, many items here this is a lot here yeah. this is all the beverage then uh, we can see the progress of sales by hours the store open at 10 and close at 10 pm yeah 22 so we can check the progress of sales per hour in all outlets Let's see, we only want to see one outlet, for example, in one, let's see in one outlet. They only sell starting from 3 p.m. and so on. So this is how we can do with uh, Power BI. Okay. That's more or less an idea, I mean, various ideas, what we can do with Power BI. The limit is your imagination, and we can have many combination of chart, lines, bar, data, tables, and so on, depends on our needs. But the most important thing is we need to plan what we want to see, how we want to analyze before we develop on the Power BI report because uh, the, the development of Power BI report itself can be simple or can be complex or difficult or even can be a nightmare if we are not clear with what we want to see, what we want to analyze and how we want the report presented to us. Power BI is a powerful business insight tool that can extract your ERP data into visualization that tells story about your company's business. We have done many Power BI projects in all scales, connecting to various Dynamics 365 applications. We are very experienced and have a proven methodology to deliver a successful project to your organization. With our broad and deep experience, we are most capable of sharing the best practice in developing Power BI reports.